everyone, and welcome back to part two of my tutorial series on lightsaber use. Last time around, we dealt with the figure eight, both in downward fashion and in upward fashion. If you've practiced this, you should be pretty decent at it by now. Today, I wanted to add another element to it. As we get into routines and mixing things later as it goes along, uh, sometimes we're going to allow the saber to just keep going indefinitely. Sometimes, however, we're going to want to stop the saber. Now this is a strike. Strikes are martial elements. Uh, they can be used to hit things. In flow arts, they can be used just to change direction. All right, now to cover strikes, I wanted to uh, deal with the directions that a strike can come in from. I can have an upward strike from either side of my body. This is kind of like a golf swing or an up serve in tennis or an up response in tennis. Okay, imagine that a ball is coming down in front of you and you're hitting it up. You notice that all I'm doing here is the same thing that I showed you in the last video with a figure eight, except I'm stopping. I can stop and continue motion, or I can stop and switch it and switch the motion to the other direction. So we've got the upward swing. We also have downward swing. All right, downward swing is a lot like a chop. If there's a log in front of me, I can chop from this direction. I can chop from this direction. All right, so there's our four corners, more or less, coming in diagonally this way, this way, this way, and this way. I can also straighten it out to the side, make things horizontal, either over my head or from a low position. A little bit harder to do on that side, but strike in front. And I can come straight down over the top or straight up out of the bottom. For the most part, though, the four that you need to concentrate on are the diagonals. The straight horizontal, the straight down, and the straight up are pretty much versions of the same. As we go on, we'll look at striking, striking, and then changing directions into a spin. But just practice a few strikes. You notice that I usually circle first. I could just strike, strike, or strike, strike. So just like with the figure eight, there can be smaller movements that stay out in front of my body, or larger movements that go around my body. Okay, practice strikes, get used to them, work this in with the last one, deal with figure eights, and then stop the figure eights and reverse but stop with the definite strike. Practice that, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll move on to the next move.